Hello everyone, having your own dildos of doom provides you with a great advantage. However, it's important not to fire them around indiscriminately like a thigh cabaret artiste launching ping pong balls from her cooch. With that in mind, this time we're covering target of opportunity mode. <laughs> Set your right DDI to the Electronic Warfare page and mirror the contents to your HUD. Turn on your Master Arm and select her to Ground Mode. The left DDI will automatically switch to the Stores page. Select the Harm, then select TOO for Target of Opportunity. A target gate will appear on the DDI. This is the Seeker Head's point of view. The class function allows you to include only the types of radar selected. It's an extremely powerful feature with an extensive range of options. In this case, I'm going to exclude all friendly emitters by selecting Hostile. The Step option allows you to switch between weapon stations. Reset and Scan are pretty obvious, and Limit allows you to filter out all but the five most urgent emitters. Before you can operate in TOO mode, you need to make the Harm Sensor of Interest by pressing Sensor Select Left. The current target is boxed on the Seeker and the HUD. To cycle targets, press the Harm Sequence Raid button. To hand off a target for launch, press the Cage on Cage button. Center the target, verify the HROF message, launch, and fuck off. The golden rule with the harm, as with most other missiles, is speed plus altitude equals range. There's no need to follow the missile in, because like the table tennis balls mentioned at the start of the video, they will stick to their target, and usually leave a similar white-hot burning mess. 